Hey there, so welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting video because I have my mom on my channel. She's gonna share a lot of her signature recipes and most of it are my favorites. So first meal of the day is obviously breakfast. I asked my mom to make pal patri which is like a deep fried puffed up rice bread, kind of like ne patal. But this is eaten with coconut milk. For this she added roasted rice flour like the patri puri which we get in the market and uh, semolina and salt into a bowl and mixed it. Then she poured boiling hot water into it gradually and mixed it until uh, she got a dough like this. not very loose and not very stiff this should be the consistency make small balls out of it and flatten it using a patal press like this or with your hand or even with a rolling pin by placing it on a greased cling wrap don't flatten it out very thin it should be a little thick otherwise it will not puff up and then uh, you have to deep fry it in very hot oil and see how beautifully it gets puffed up My parents usually eat oats 365 days a year but when we are here umma makes uh, sandwiches mini kupas pizza etc for us and she also makes breakfast like this uh, once a week or so but i wanted to share this recipe with you guys so i asked my mom to make this for breakfast we usually have this with uh, coconut milk but if you're making this for dinner we have it with chicken curry or uh, mutton masala etc the only thing is that you have to serve it immediately after once you keep it it becomes a little hard for lunch my mom makes kerala style rice meal on weekdays this chili mango is my favorite for this just mix together cubed raw mango if it is slightly sweet it would be better and then add in salt red chili powder a pinch of fenugreek powder mix it then add in sugar mix it and let it sit for about an hour or more uh, the water will come out of the mango and it will look like a pickle the next dish is prawn moringa curry it's very easy you literally just have to mix all the ingredients and cook together so for this add the prawns moringa and uh, tomato ginger garlic onion and red chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder into a bowl in a pan add coconut oil and splutter some mustard seeds then add fenugreek seeds then dump in all the things into the pan you can actually add all the uh, vegetables and uh, uh, all this mixture straight into the pan instead of the bowl first then pour in half cup of water and then salt then cover and cook it for about uh, 15 minutes add in about 2 tablespoon of soaked tamarind water to make a coconut paste in a grinder add 2 tablespoon of coconut and one shallot and a bit of warm water and 2 uh, tablespoon of coconut milk powder and grind it into a very smooth paste then pour it into the curry and add a bit more of water and let it come to a simmer and uh, let it cook for about 5 to 10 minutes on very low heat meanwhile let's make the tempering for that add a bit of coconut oil in another pan and uh, saute a bit of shallots until it becomes golden add curry leaves and mix it and that's it pour it into the curry and the curry is done it's very flavorful and goes very well with the uh, normal rice fried fish is a must with rice so today mom is making prawn fry for that she is just adding uh, the prawn and red chili powder turmeric coriander and uh, a clove of garlic everything together and mix it just uh, frying it in coconut oil if there is prawn fry for lunch everybody eats their food without any complaint Now we're gonna make vandaka varava or uh, lady's finger stir fry. 
for that in a pan pour coconut oil and uh, spluttered mustard seeds and uh, curry leaves two cloves of garlic chopped one large onion a bit of red chili powder turmeric powder and the uh, uh, cut lady's finger put everything together and just uh, stir it on high heat because it'll be very slimy in the beginning add salt Keep on stirring it and cooking it until it becomes dry like this. This chutta molaka chamandi is a bomb. So much flavor in this. Here Uma is roasting dried red chilies over the flame and adding it to the grinder along with shallots, tamarind, salt, coconut and pouring a bit of water, very less water, ginger and sugar. Then grind it into a nice chutney like this. For evening snack, it is this crunchy, nutritious cornflakes dates bars. For that, add cornflakes in a pan and dry roast it until crisp. It can be roasted in the oven too. Melt the butter and add in the pitted dates. Cook it on low flame for about 10 to 15 minutes until the dates become very soft and it melts like this. Then add in the cornflakes. Add the uh, almonds and try to mix everything well together. Transfer it into a pan. This is a very small quantity so Ma took a 6 inch baking pan and just flatten it out. And just cut it into bars and serve, that's it. These date bars are all of our favorite. It's really good. Even though there is no chocolate or anything in it, our kids really love it. For dinner, it's our favorite Malabari traditional dish. It's coconut chicken with puri. It's very easy. You just have to take a pan and add in the chicken, onion, tomato, ginger garlic, uh, red chili powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder, and whole garam masala and salt and mix everything together and cover and cook for about 20 minutes until the chicken gets cooked well then all you have to do is add in freshly grated coconut mix it well and cover and cook it for another 10 minutes and uh, add curry leaves and a generous amount of coconut oil. This dish is very special for me because it brings back a lot of childhood memories as I grew up eating this. I used to get very excited when my mom makes this and I have the exact same feeling even now. The classic combination with this dish is nepatil uh, but today mom made puri. Actually puri, chapati, paratha, anything goes well with it. But Nepatil is the best combination. So this is the end of the video. Hope you liked all these simple delicious recipes that my mom shared. Please show some love and support by clicking on the like button, subscribing and sharing this video with your family and friends. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.